please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup. This is you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. Hey everybody, so quick video here, but we have a signing to talk about from a couple days ago that I haven't talked about yet. Yaroslav Halak has re-signed with the Boston Bruins on a one-year deal worth $2.25 million to be the backup to Tuka Rask again uh, next season, which he has been for the past couple of years. And as a Bruins fan, this is an absolutely awesome signing. I'm a huge, huge fan of this move. Um, Halak has been fantastic since coming to Boston. Um, you know, the last two years he's been outstanding as kind of you know, took his security blanket, that backup role, um, where, and even at times, especially a couple seasons ago, um, where he had to, he had to kind of take over for a period of time when Tuka was struggling, and he came in and just played absolutely outstanding. He continues to play outstanding in Boston. Obviously, he has a very good team in front of him, and that helps out any goaltender. But I've been a huge fan of Halak since since he came here, and I'm really glad that he's coming back for another season. I am all about that move. Uh, he and Tuca have made up one of the best duos in goal in the NHL over the past couple years. And uh, I'm really excited for that to continue because he has been outstanding. Um, I really wasn't sure if Halak would be back or not because obviously I think that, you know, given the way that he's played, there were probably bigger offers out there. Uh, but I do think he likes playing in Boston. I think he thinks that, you know, this is a championship level team who he can possibly win a Stanley Cup with. And I think, you know, he wanted to be here and that's why he took this deal. Um, and it's good for Boston because, you know, that keeps that rask Halak duo that's been so good together for at least one more season. And that gives another year of seasoning to the Bruins' younger goaltenders like Dan Vladar, Jeremy Swayman, uh, Kyle Kaiser and those type of guys who, you know, we don't know if they're ready yet. Um, I, I honestly, I thought that there was a, probably a pretty good chance that Halak would be gone after this season and that Vladar would probably be the guy that gets the chance to come up and be the backup goalie. Um, he did have the best goals against average in the AHL this past season. Uh, he had an outstanding year down in Providence, and I thought, you know, there's, there's probably a good chance that Boston gives him a shot to come up and be the backup, and, um, you know, I think it would have been interesting to see how he would have, how he would have, you know, done in that role and, and taken advantage of that opportunity, but this at least gives him another year to be the starter down in Providence to play on a, you know, regular basis, whereas if he was took his backup, you know, he's probably playing, you know, 25, 22 to 25 games in a season. Whereas now this gives him a chance to start uh, for another year, continue to improve, continue to develop and get better. And then uh, I do think that he's going to get a good NHL look, though, in the near future. Um, but it's not going to be next season because obviously Boston's coming back with R Rask and Halak. So, uh, you know, Swayman just coming out of college, he's going to need some development time in the AHL. Um, so I assume that next year's AH Providence, you know, roster goaltender duo is going to be um, going to be Vladar and Swayman. Uh, and then Kaiser, he's, you know, kind of the one down a little bit. He's been in the ECHL, I believe, and not really. Uh, he's the lesser of the prospects, I think. I think Bruins are really high on Swayman um, coming out of the University of Maine. He was fantastic this past season. One of the best goaltenders in the country in, in college hockey. And then Vladar, obviously, was one of the top AHL goalies this past year. So, um, you know, Boston does have some good young goaltenders in the pipeline. We don't know how they'll play at the NHL level. But uh, they've certainly they certainly look like really good prospects and like there's certainly some potential there. So I'm excited about that. But we're gonna you know the team's gonna give them another year to develop, another year to get better at their current you know where they're playing now, and and then uh, you know another year of Halak and, and Rask up in Boston, and then uh, we'll see what the future holds after that. I do think Vladar is gonna get a chance in the near future to come up and get an NHL job. Um, but we'll have to wait and see for that. At least next year, it's going to be the return of Tuka Rask and Yaro Halak. So great signing for the Bruins. I'm really excited about that. Um, and Halak has been absolutely outstanding for this team. So 
with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.